Guys, we're at the uh, well. The, at the moment, people are having drinks and everything else, and chatting yeah. about what happened. So, what did you think about this? Uh, well, the Charter of the Forest or Magna Carta de Foresta, 800 year anniversary. So, what did you uh, what did you think? Well, it, we had uh, people from America and from England uh -huh. talking about the effect of the, the, this charter from our tiny little country uh -huh. has had in world history and yes. has blossomed all over the place. Okay. Uh, um, uh, in this amazing building. Now, funnily enough, we were talking about a wood and how well, yes. the, the view of a tree out the window which is good for your mental health and how being in a, in a building... With wood panelling. Wood panelling is good for your health. I thought of Natasha's play when she talked about... Oh, Memory of Leaves. When she looked out the window and they cut the cherry... They pulled the cherry tree out by the roots from out by the window and the okay. effect that that had on the mental health. Amazing. Um, but it's, it's, it's developed into housing, it's developed into food, it's developed into the Labour Party, it's developed the only thing that I have the word, I, the one missing word here is world peace. Okay. <laughs> but that's, I still uh, that's, feel that, yep. that um, our little country has influence in the world and that this constitution that they're talking about, mm -hmm. which is still in, in developing, is going to be huge. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to actually finding out a, a, a common charter and uh, yep. uh, the one about who owns England. Yeah. And uh, finding out about yeah who who's actually uh, yeah who does own England. Yeah. And, that was uh, and, Scott that, of the... and you've got it all on film anyway. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah, I know. It sounds good. So actually, we can actually do that anyway. We need and to find. Thank out. you so much uh -huh. for doing what you do, Obi, and taking all of this to everybody over there. <laughs> on the other end of this camp. So hopefully we'll have a lot more people actually watching this, a thousands and hopefully now, the whole country. I want to say that Peter Challen, who runs the Global Table at the School of Economic Science, yep. should have been here this evening with his constitutionalists, yep. who signed a, a document under the um, a quick tree, whatever uh, whatever it is, that big tree yep. on the other side of the river at Runnymede. And the uh, Christian Council for Monetary Justice okay. and the Global Table. We need to actually, I mean, I suppose, expand it because it's a, it's a, it was actually a very exclusive uh, guest list. Yes. We probably need to actually open it up and make it more like and the, uh, say, the Occupy stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting yeah, me. And it, and then actually, yeah, and then actually, exactly. And then, um, and, yeah. you know, uh, maybe in the next meeting, if we could actually do it, we can go for a friend's house in Houston. Have a thousand people in no, there. No, please can we have it here? And uh, we've got the great hall downstairs in the House of Parliament. We can get a thousand people, more than a thousand people in there. Okay? As long as I can actually last in there, for. This is the Parliament where the people talk. And we talk here in Parliament. This is our common building. Are you kidding? Okay, well, okay. If you can do that, that'd be great. <laughs> anyway, so who else are we actually talking to? We Philip, shall see. Philip. 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 Okay, please come. What did you think about the Shot of the Forest? Uh, oh, Manda Carta de Foresta, 800th anniversary. What did you think about the meeting? Any any thoughts? I'm trying to get her a drink. Um, <laughs> that's, that's my thoughts. Um, it was excellent. It was a wonderful, wonderful collection. Very well balanced panel, all complementing each other. Yep. And reminded us of what we need to be doing to interpret what was fought for and won 800 years ago in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. It's a reminder in terms of what our ancestors did uh, on the, the huge shoulders on which we stand and what we need to aspire to to achieve just what they did now, reinterpreted in the 21st century. Yeah, no, I didn't even realize, I thought it was only 10 million acres, I didn't realize actually it's actually a lot more than that. Well, the five, you heard about, you heard what he said. Yeah, five. Five great enclosures and thefts. Yes. In terms of just land, in just terms of land now. Mm -hmm. Those thefts now, of course, are going on in many other spheres. Yes. Digital in particular. Yes. Information. Yep. Right? Data. Right? DNA. <laughs> public health resources, public buildings, all the things that have been built with your predecessors, our predecessors, taxpayers, and were built to aspire to a better society, mm. being privatized, being sold off, and basically being commercialized, marketized, financialized. And we, we are things that we are being denied, whether it's healthcare, education, whether it's public access, whether it's public transport, all being denied, sold off, and basically stolen. The Duke of Westminster, there was a much better quote from the Duke of Westminster than the one that was used in here. Okay, what right? was that? 
the, the Duke of Westminster just passed away in his mid late sixties. Right, his son has now basically uh, succeeded. He was asked 30, 40 years ago by a BBC journalist on film, "Have you ever thought why you have so much?" He's undoubtedly the richest man in Britain. They still are. The Paradise Papers have revealed why they still are in terms of the trust system through mm-hmm. Britain's offshore, uh, offshore dependent offshore centres. He was asked, "Have you ever thought about why you have so much and others have so little?" And he said, my dear boy, it's very simple and very clear. My ancestors were better at raping and pillaging than yours were. Holy. Okay, that's uh, that's, uh, that's bad. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, thanks. Okay, we'll do. Okay, guys, uh, I shall see if I can uh, ask more uh, stuff and uh, find out. And the thing is, it's actually getting really... Um, Okay. Oh God, I forgot your name again. Tara. Tara, yes. What do you think about okay, uh, Magna de Foresta, 800 uh, uh, anniversary? What do you think of this, uh, the, the discussion, the meeting? Any uh, thoughts? Maybe future, I'm, whatever. I'm, I'm thrilled to know about the Charter of the Fourth. I hadn't heard about it before. Okay. The only thing missing was the women's the work that women do to reproduce the society. Yes. And we also need to connect it with the struggle of people of color. Yep. For land rights. For our justice, for, to get our lands back. Yeah, Other I think there's. That, I think there was there was one in, I remember. Is it actually? Uh, uh, sorry, forty acres and a mule or something. Exactly. That was in the states. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I was glad one of the speakers mentioned about prisoners. Yeah. And we have to fight for the right of prisoners also to have access to the land. Thank you. And okay, so hopefully we'll actually have a uh, bigger meetings and we can yes. find out more. Like you know. Hey, who, who the heck owns everything? Or yeah. that's not, not exactly owned, but actually who holds everything? Yeah. Who's stolen the most? It's good to know that, who owns the land and who doesn't own the land. That's very important. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hey, what are you putting that out on? Up. Oh. Occupy London, bamboozer. Okay, so, 800th anniversary, Occupy London. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I like what you said. What do you think about the meeting and uh, any new information that you found and uh, what's, the, what's for the future? For 800 years people have been struggling for their rights to access land, have rights for homes, rights for food and uh, hopefully this is uh, another, you know, the seed of something beginning here of a massive movement for a charter. Yeah, another the push. Another push, another massive wave, like all the people who pushed for the chart of the forest against the Norman landlords that took away people's rights to have, you know, to, to basically gather their food from the forest, the right people have had for thousands of years. So hopefully what we're seeing here today is another massive wave of the movement pushing to access land and buildings in all of our cities for the commons. Everyone has a right to the commons, that's what the chart of the forest says. And when we were running in Eco Village, we pushed for that right up to the High Court, saying that people should have the right to have access to the subsistence, to be able to put a roof over the head and food. And hopefully what's going to happen here is there's going to be a push from above and below. We've met here with people from Parliament and also a massive grassroots network from Occupy that's going to be pushing to occupy empty buildings, bits of land throughout next year. We're going to see more land occupations going on, more occupations of empty buildings. And hopefully, you know, we're going to see a push from Parliament as well. You've got people like Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonald yeah, pushing. Land value to tax for one. Restore the commons back to people. It's really critical now. Our environment's in a terrible state, and we need everyone to have the space to organise environment and community centres and common spaces where everyone can get together and repair the environment. So keep networking. Check out Land Justice Network. Yep. Land Justice Network. Uh, there's going to be occupations next year. Get involved and also join this Charter of the Commons. There's going to be a big push. Um, a friend of John's was just saying, Tom, there's going to be so the Charter of the Commons getting launched next year. We need everyone to get behind it, yep. young and old, all ages. When you see something on the internet about the Charter of the Commons, push for it, lobby for it, campaign for it, occupy for it. We need wow. to reclaim some common spaces to have direct democracy, people creating the kind of future they want to see. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Pete. Few words. What do you think? And uh, any 
Yes, yeah. I do actually. Yeah. Um, I'd like to say that that that, that um, it's a great shame that um, I didn't particularly push the fact that um, trees are being used to replace coal as energy, and yep. the planet can't cannot do that. Trees clean our air, they yep. purify our air. Yep. Burning them and turning them into carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is just about the most stupid, insane idea that they, that they, you can possibly do in terms of energy. It's, yep. it's, a, it's, a, it's a travesty, and it's a great fraud being perpetrated on the British people because power stations here are being converted from coal to wood. So I say, so what's actually happening? Okay, they're cutting down 5,000 trees in Sheffield. What's happened? They just they'll, uh, be they'll be chipped, I'm sure. If there's any good quality trees, then maybe some contractor has bought them for um, for clanking or for um, other use, which is which is the best possible use. If you don't burn them, you, 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 you're, you're maintaining the carbon in the wood. Yep. A table, a table is stored carbon. Those panels, that's stored carbon. That's not quite so bad. Burning it is insane. Yep. Burning it is, is, is disastrous, and burning it is criminal. That's what I want to say okay. about the Charter of the Forest. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, <laughs> And a great event. I could actually join in so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Maria. Yes, uh, just wonder actually if you have any worries about uh, the event tonight and. <laughs> okay, well, good. thank you. Anyway, guys, thank you uh, so much. Oh, Penny, I didn't see you there. Yes. Exactly. I was just reading. Okay, well, okay, we'll do. Yes. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being with us. I just have to stop this now. Uh, just to, I just thought I wanted to ask people what uh, was happening. And the way. And I think there's only there's no more drinks available. Ah, boy, pity. Anyway, peace out. See you later. Hopefully you heard that. Check out the live stream, the previous one, an hour and a half, but very, very, um, uh, you know, informative. Okay, peace out.